Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 from Brownsville, Texas. On a nice day, it shows to be, let me turn the radio down, it shows to be 69, 68. And the wind's out of the north, finally. And so we're getting a little uh, fall weather. There's something I'm doing wrong here. Oh, I got, I did that. Okay, now we're good. Uh, okay, now we're moving out here. I was really ready, wasn't I? So here we go. Uh, yeah, the wind is blowing out of the north right now at about, I don't know, 15, 20 miles an hour. Feels good. But what I want to talk about, let's get to the point, Rusty. Get to the point. Quit jacking around. You don't need to add any fluff to your videos. What we're going to talk about is RVing or camping or and camping etiquette or manner. I can't spell etiquette, so in the description, I'm going to put RVing camping manners, okay? And what that means is, when you're out there camping, be camping. You know what I mean? Basically, be a little quieter. Most of the issues when, you, when you're out camping come from noise, noise issues. You know what I mean? You know, barking dogs, generators, and all kind of stuff. But I'm staying in an RV resort right now in Brownsville, Texas, and getting hit by a trash truck, but and... I walked through the I've walked through the RV resort several times 250 plus RV sites and yeah and I mean well at an RV resort like I'm in where it's a little expensive uh, most people have Cooth and Suave Fair and all that stuff you know what I mean they're pretty manly but there's a few things I noticed that reminded me of RV park, parks and campsites state parks national parks BLM etc that I have been that had some noise issues and they came from, well, not only noise issues, let me start from the first, all right? Outside lights. Guys, on the new RVs now, they come with outside spotlights. Not a problem. Wonderful lighting for outdoors, wonderful. Do you need to leave them on all night? I don't think so. You know, but that's your choice. And then, of course, there's all kind of other lights, but they're on, underneath the RV, which doesn't really bother anyway, anybody. But if you happen to be camping next to a person that has a spotlight shining in your window all night, that is not very much fun. You know, so why don't you move? Well, probably as crowded as RV, as, camp, as crowded as campgrounds are now, you probably don't have any choice. And what else? Oh, something else. This is, goes back to some noise issues. Most new RVs come with 18 televisions, or I'm just kidding, I'm exaggerating, but basically they'll have one, two, or three inside the RV, then just to show you how wonderful they are, because they'll sell you a package that includes an outside TV and outside speakers and all kinds of stuff. So you can sit outside and watch your TV while you're in a starlit place in the desert. Isn't that wonderful? No, it's not. Nobody wants to hear your TV and sound travels, carries like crazy in a very quiet environment. So if you're gonna watch your outside TV, do yourself, do yourself and your neighbors a favor and get you a Bluetooth headset or something that connects to your TV so you can hear the sound much better. Okay, it helps you and it helps your neighbor. Why? Because the sound on those TVs is crap, okay? You know, and to hear it outside where there's no, like, acoustics, it's very difficult. You have to turn it all the way up, okay, or loud. And, and I don't want to hear uh, a, a replay of a football game at midnight, all right? Just me. And so, you yeah, know, what else? Uh, and then, of course, outside speakers. Some people forget that they have them on, you know. Like, they'll be playing their music inside of the RV. They're inside the RV, but they forgot that their outside speakers are on. So everybody in the whole campground gets to hear their music, which they about 10% of them may really like it, but the other 90% probably doesn't. You will find that in life, most people don't like the same things you do. That's what makes us different. Viva la difference. 
And also, this is a lovely one. Guys, and, and I know it's not, well, it, I don't think it's the men so much as the women because never underestimate the nesting instinct of a female. But, you know, man and wife teams, you know, the wife is going to put out little plants and all kinds of stuff and Christmas lights and all kinds of things outside, which is not a problem at all. But when you put out your wind chimes that have those two foot long pipes that go gong, 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 do me a favor and the rest of the campground a favor and take them inside when you go inside. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to hear those things. And even the little ones that are about three inches long, the little things, and they go clink, 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 clink. Hey man, I know the wind's blowing. You know what I mean? I don't need to be reminded you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, you know, uh, wind chimes, in my opinion, are a total waste of money. I mean, you know, I realize they're cute and a lot of people, I, I even knew a girl that made super wind chimes, but hers were made out of little pieces of porcelain glass and she could actually tune them. And they were so, you could have one by your campsite and hardly hear it, you know what I mean? It was a, a very peaceful, relaxing sound. But those were those foot long, two foot long pipes and the other ones with about four inches of iron banging together. Uh, guys, come on, get a life, you know. Uh, you know. <laughs> Never mind, you know what I mean, guys. And then of course, you know, then the old, the old standby, gasoline generators, okay. Have I, I've got one in my RV right now. I've got a class C motor home with a 4,000 watt Onan generator that's got about 30 hours on it. And the reason it's got 30 hours on it is because you're supposed to run it uh, once or twice a month just to keep it from, quote, gumming up. And that's where those hours have come from. I've run it a couple of times to run the air conditioner, but very rarely, but that's just me, but, you know. But, you know, I understand having a generator, I do. I mean, they do come in handy. They will charge batteries. They'll run air conditioners. They'll run microwaves. They'll run coffee pots and all kinds of stuff that solar has a hard time doing. So, you know, uh, but, you know, having a generator is not the problem. The problem is, is running that generator at 3 a.m. in the morning, and it's a Walmart brand. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, it sounds like it's running on diesel or something. And no, 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 no. But, but if you have a good, you know, a Honda, you know, 2000i or something that's reasonably quiet, but just point the exhaust uh, away from your audience. You know what I mean? Uh, so, and also, uh, you can, some people that have pickups that are towing a travel trailer, you can set that generator in the bed of the truck. And that, that works as a very serious sound deadening thing, you know? So yeah, just set it in the back of your truck. We're gonna turn left on Highway 4 here. This goes to SpaceX. Am I gonna do a video at SpaceX today? No, I've done videos at SpaceX, two of them, or three, hell, I don't know how many, enough. And no, I'm just cruising this morning and I happen to come out here because usually there's not a lot of traffic on this road, but it could be today. And then, but other than those few items, guys, as far as other camping etiquette, you know, pick up your trash, you know, if your dog craps, pick it up and throw it somewhere. You know what I mean? And, you know, the usual drill, you know, just, you know, don't leave anything but your footprint in your campsite, which is great. Uh, and most people, I will say this, most people, most campers that I have seen and been around are very good there's only a very small percentage that violate any of those root things that I just pointed out, you know, like a wind chime from hell and all that sort of stuff. And there's three dogs running on the right there. Uh, yeah, okay, good. I guess they're enjoying it. Well, they feel good because it's cool. This is the first cool weather we've had here in this area. So they're out, they're all excited now. Now they can go steal their neighbor's chickens and uh, so guys from uh, Brownsville, Texas on a, uh, well, a cooler morning, it's 69 degrees is what it shows on my temperature gauge, which is, you know, uh, yesterday at the same time was about 80 and uh, it's been 80 for the past two weeks for the high is 82, 83. And the humidity's high because you're along the Gulf Coast of Texas. But anyway, having said that guys, bring in your wind chimes, uh, Get you a headset for your outside TV. 
and uh, what else did I mention? Oh, outside speakers. Uh, yeah, they're good. You know, I understand that, you know, but just bear in mind that most people do not want to hear your music. You know, they want to hear their music. And so it, it's, but believe me, I've re actually, anytime there's a crowded campground, no matter where it is, you're going to have some noise issues. Why? Because there is a certain percentage of the worldwide population that just hasn't snapped on the fact that there are other people that have lives too. You know what I mean? And they want to enjoy themselves also. Okay, is this guy going to pass? This guy's in a hurry here. Usually there's hardly any traffic on this road, but maybe this is a shift change or something down here. Because I noticed there's a few cars behind me. This is a Border Patrol checkpoint coming up here on the left. Well, in the middle of the road, which you don't have to stop going down, but you do have to stop coming back. And they do. They they you know they got the dogs and all the stuff, and they will they will look inside your car, and they can do that. There's nothing wrong. And I don't care, you know. Uh, you know, if they ask me if I'm a U.S. citizen, I don't have any problem with that at all. But anyway, guys, you know. My, Mind your manners when you're camping. Remember, you're you're out there among other people that don't know you and your way of life or care. And uh, so with that in mind, thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link. Go to Amazon and buy whatever you want. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. You know, keep your health, stand guard at the door of your mind. Yeah, enjoy your life and uh, let others enjoy their camping. Adios, bye.